I always like to solve puzzles, um, you know, be it, uh, be it some games or, or even be it a, a challenging math homework problem. Um, and as a teenager, I was also very much into uh, science fiction literature. Uh, so it just seemed kind of natural and normal to me that when I when I finished high school to to move on and, and go to university and, and do something related to, to natural science. Um, and in hindsight, I think I was in hindsight, I realized that I was very lucky to grow up in an environment where that just was a natural thing to do. I mean, sure, like doing fundamental science is, is just about answering questions, about following, just being curious about trying to understand things. Of, of course, like in, in the process, you also like develop technologies that then can be useful um, in, in a practical way. But, but more than that, um, just kind of as a, as a human, human being, I, I want to know what the universe is made out of. I'm not satisfied with, with only understanding 5% uh, of our universe. My, my field is, a, is a, as, as many fields in academia, it's a very competitive field. You uh, would like short work contracts, then you you know you have to move country, move on to new work contract. Uh, you don't know if you're going to get a new work contract. Um, you're you're, stand, you're you're always competing with your peers uh, for like the few positions that there are, and most of the time, you know that's that's all done in a very reasonably professional and friendly way, and, and we're all friends and it's all good. But of course, people there is a lot of pressure, and that sometimes does of course make make people envious and make people not react in the best way. So I have very often gotten um, comments suggesting that I just got a job offer or something like that uh, due to my gender, because you know some, some university is, is trying to increase their gender balance. So that's supposedly why, why I get the job and, and I'm one of my male colleagues. Um, and so, so that was like, when I got those sorts of comments, I was really shocked. Um, it's it's a very difficult balance to take measures that that actually help in the long run, right? That actually help against the structural problems that are definitely still there, uh, but at the same time don't have side effects which completely counteract any any positive effects that they may have. One thing I think is working environment, um, which which is something that you know everybody would profit from, right? Also also men. Um, but there's, there's things like, I mean, questions like childcare or dual career support do tend to impact, on average, of course, every case is different, but do tend to impact women more than men. And I think there's, there's some steps which can be done, which are, which are not too hard. Yeah, it's like so supporting, supporting the trailing spouse, I think, would just make it a lot easier uh, to kind of maintain a relationship while uh, going through these, uh, through these different steps of academia. And the way it currently is, right, at some point you're forced into making a decision, either, either you, you give up on your partnership, right, or one of the two has to quit academia. And at the moment, it just, I mean, they're just looking at the numbers, right, it tends to be more often than not the woman that quits. Um, so kind of providing a solution which is, which is just viable and feasible uh, I think would 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 help, but this, yeah, this is the one example where you actually what I'm actually proposing is uh, you 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 help the, the training spouse who may, may may well be male, right? But that's actually a very good way of supporting the woman. So it's it's kind of one has to think around one corner more there. One point that that I found useful, which I mean, okay, I, I sometimes I I whatever I, I hesitate to apply for a job or something because I'm thinking like, okay, well, this is, uh, I'm, I'm, th this is not for me, right? And in a sense that I, 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 there's people who are better than me, you know, so why, why even apply? Um, and then I find it useful, or well, I found it useful to just give myself a nudge and ask myself, okay, look, how many of my colleagues on this corridor would have similar doubts and how many of them would just go ahead and apply? Uh, and then I know, okay, I, I just gonna apply. And I give myself that push and, and, and just kind of see what happens. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a gender specific advice, right? I, I have the feeling that maybe um, women tend to be a bit more 
uh, well, they tend to maybe less overestimate themselves, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but I think one, one needs to kind of give oneself that, that, that little push and be, um, yeah, be, be maybe a little bit more, get out of the comfort zone a little bit, not too much, right? Because one, one kind of still has to, has to be oneself, but get out of the comfort zone a little bit and, and just push the boundaries a little bit all the time.